Hey there guys, it's me the Don Fanatic. Welcome to a very late upload of po uh sorry. Let me try that again. The PPL season 3 week 6 game I had versus Travis aka Travis D, manager of the North Melbourne Kangaskars. Now, Trav is one of the people in the division who I am currently vying with uh, along with Shardy and Sam, you know, for the top spots of the league. Maybe not first place, that might be Sam pretty much already. Um, but this game is very important. I was not looking forward to it. I mean, Trav's team, I mean, all you have to do is look at the screen and see how spooky it is. He's got the Excadrill, Tyrant, Ranatar, Sandstream combo. Uh, he's got oh, Embor, nothing switches into Embor. That was the main problem with my team. Um, he has a Latias for good, Latios for good measure, sorry. Uh, Slowbro and of course the Thunderous. So I'm like, well, I kind of have nothing. As you can quickly see, my team is Heliolisk, uh, Zorok, Skarmory, Floor, Just Need a King, and Mega Latios. Mega Latios was the only thing which I had was a remote switch into Embor. And, um, well, that that wasn't happening because, I mean, even Head Smash, Two Shots, Max Defense, Mega Latios. Pretty sure I have Life Orb, Nido King, uh, Physically Defensive, Flawgis, Specially Defensive, Skarmory, Max Special Attack, Modest, No Speed Investment, Scarfed, Heliosk, and I forgot what my last one was already. Zorok, that's the one. Um, special, I believe, because, you know, well, I needed Sludge Bomb to hit fairies. Anyway, let's get into this battle. I lead off with my Heliosk. I do show I'm Scarfed here. Also wanted to, you know, see if this thing was scarfed. I know they get Focus Blast. Uh, I am bulky, um, so I'm pretty confident I could take one. Um, but we do see here that I'm Scarfed because I outspeed this thing. And uh, I get a good amount of damage off of Volt Switch, which is nice, actually. Um, but I do bring in uh, my Floor just not expecting the U-Turn. Just thinking this is the best thing to take a Volt Switch in my team. He obviously wanted to bring U-Turn. Um, mainly because that means he can still switch out on my Nido King switch in. Um, but in comes Embor, and here I'm already having to sack something off. It, it's it's turn two, and I have to sacrifice something. Um, at max HP, which I'm five HP off, there is a slim chance. Well, just gonna live. Um, spoilers. This is adamant choice band uh, Embor with reckless flare blitz. Yeah, there, there are no switch ins. They're, they're just aren't. I mean, I could have probably switched in Latios. Would have probably still done over half. Um, and now I get the free switch in. He doesn't know I'm physically defensive here yet. Um, either way, I'm still going to kill this thing if I go for a Psychic. Um, but in comes the Slowbro, which is kind of his check, which, you know, Mega Latios can't really do too much to. I do predict this, though. I do have my prediction pants off at the start of this game. Uh, and go for the Toxic, because, you know, bulky Mega Latios is nice, but of course, I miss the Toxic. And while it's not crucial, it's annoying because it means I have to stay in. Um, I could have probably made a switch into Helios pretty safely. Um, but I decided to get a Toxic off in this thing because in the long run I think it will help. I know I can take any hit. But the fact that I missed the first Toxic put me in that position. And if I'd have hit the first one, I probably wouldn't have stayed in. Um, because now Latios is taking damage. It can't take the hits from Embor as well. And that makes me sad. Uh, in comes Vinto because... I've seen Signal Beam, it won't do much. I expect he probably bought that thinking it could do the same as Shadow Ball, but obviously Helios would wall this thing harder because obviously it takes all the water attacks it can do. Uh, and in comes uh, Tyranitar, which I probably should have seen coming. Um, Helios does a number to his team. It's one of the few things that could probably win me the game. Um, so it's a decent switch because I here I make the safe play and go for the Focus Blast because even in the sand, if it's offensive, which it does turn out to be, this Tyranitar, uh, there's a chance it can die. Not a very big one, but there's a chance. So I need that Tyranitar dead, because then that makes Latios' job a lot easier. Because um, it takes on Excadrill as well. Anyway, um, now in comes the, the Latios, and the way he's brought it in makes me think it's Scarf. Um, because I could have easily gone for a different attack, uh, and potentially to hit KO this thing with Hyper Voice. Uh, in comes the Draco. Mm, don't think I could have taken it with Heliolisk. I potentially might have been able to, I'm not sure. Um, but Skarmory is my safest switch, and uh, this also gives me a chance to get three rocks up, because if he's Scarfed, obviously he can't mix his moves up. Um, and I believe the, uh, he has X and Drill, which could potentially spin, or obviously this thing uh, could be running Defog, the elusive Scarf Defog, Latios. Um, but here he actually decides to switch, confirming he has choice in some way, expecting Scarf. Actually, no, I know he's Scarf because he's taken sun damage before my Heliolisk does, and... I had enough, like, speed investment, or none, to actually outspeed it if it wasn't Scarfed, um, so I know it's Scarfed because sped me. Uh, I get my rocks up, which is nice, this will help with the Emboy, it'll help with the Thunderous, uh, it'll help with lots of things. Now, this is where the damage to my Latios previously was really, really frustrating. Uh, I switch out, Latios is like my only switch into this thing now, because 
Well, it's not even a switching because this thing gets a U-turn and Dark Pulse. I've already seen a U-turn. Um, if he goes for the Thunderbolt, I was very much expecting that. Uh, he can click it and damage anything other than Nido King. Um, I didn't want to risk the switch into Nido King though. Although looking at it in hindsight, obviously that would have been the better play. Um, I bring in Latios, and I'm pretty confident I can take a U-turn because it's not Stab. Uh, he's not Life Orb. He might be Expert Bell um, because obviously he's not Choiced. And I do live. Uh, so obviously I hear I, I click recover here because I need to be as much health as possible. But this gives him a free switch to Tyran uh, Tyranitar. I was going to say Tyrantrum. Um, this next turn, I still don't know what this this Tyranitar is. I'm ex honestly expecting an attacking variant. I don't know if it's physical, don't know if it's Scarf, don't know if it's special, don't know if it's D-Dance. It's just spooky to my whole team. So I stay in a Toxic because in my mind I'm thinking, right, he's probably going to click Pursuit. Probably will kill me. I allow my Toxic, which is nice because honestly this thing is very problematic. And if I put it on the timer... That would be nice. Um, he goes for Dark Pulse, reveals he has special t -tar, and that just kills me. I don't think he was expecting me to be physical defensive Latios. He said afterwards he wasn't. Well, he said afterwards he wasn't. Um, but it was literally the only thing I had for an Emblem. Um, in comes uh, Nido King. Um, and Nido King is my only like Pokemon I can rely on that, breaking walls. Um, in comes the Slowbro, which is the designated switching. I'm pretty sure this was Assault Vest or some special defense investment and max HP and Sludge Wave still does an absolute butt ton, um, because you know Nido King is nice and fun um, and after Toxic here I I calc this and I believe it was a roll with the set that Trav was running um, in his favor but it was a roll and he lives on something like 4 HP which means he will obviously die to Toxic this turn, uh, which is a kill for Latios from the grave, by the way. Uh, we take a lot of damage because I am a slightly bulkier variant of Nidoking. Um, I honestly believe that bulkier is better than speedy because it's not that fast anyway, but bulky offense is nice. So we do take out the uh, Slowbro, which is nice, um, but in comes the Latios. Now, I really should have started playing predictions here at this point, but there was no way I was going to see this coming. He is actually Scar Defog. Latio. Skarmory is my safer switch. I have to utilize that while I still can. Um, Skarmory does a lot this game. It just shuts down uh, Extra Drill as well. Um, and I would win a one-on-one -on -one with Extra Drill easy because he will outspeed me uh, and he can't Earthquake on my roosts. So I would win that one-on-one. -on -one. So I need to keep this thing around. Obviously he still has Embor, um, which is not fun. Uh, but in comes the Thunderous. And this is frustrating because obviously he doesn't have rocks and he didn't take rocks damage. But I am wise to the fact that, you know, he has this thing to take out Skarmory. Skarmory is a huge problem. If he gets rid of Skarmory, he can just run through me with Exit Drill, pretty much. So I bring in my Heliolisk. I know I'm free to click Hyper Voice. Uh, I don't care if he brings in Ty uh, Tyranitar. Um, I can switch out into something else. Now, that does a lot of damage. And I know this thing's Scarfed, uh, and it'll probably take me out with Side Shot. I don't want that. So he actually makes a switch into Tyranitar. But I actually stay in, predicting him to expect me to switch out into my Skarmory. Um, and as I know this is a special Tyranitar, he's probably carrying Fire Blast or Flamethrower. Um, here I have to, I just have to switch out into Skarmory. I have to stall some turns of the sand and try and get Toxic to rack up as much as possible to make it easier to kill this thing without using Focus Blast. Because if I lose my lock myself into Focus Blast, well, actually, at this point, it's not too bad, because Latios is at such low health, we know it will kill if I land a focus blast on it, on a switching, but obviously it still outspeeds me. So he gets for the flame throw. Uh, I am specially defensive Skarmory, because I didn't need physical investment. I would take everything he has that's physical uh, without it, apart from, like, Embor, but I am not staying in on an Embor. Um, he gets for the flame throw again. So, um, at this point, I still don't know that he isn't choice. Spoilers, he isn't choice. I, I still under, am under the impression here that he could be choice. Um, but because I'm not so clever, I haven't been counting the sand turns. Um, I would have realised he was actually sand, the, the sand rock, whatever it's called. Um, dry rock, I don't know. Here I click Ice Beam because I have to make a prediction now. I honestly thought he might try and switch into Latios. Um, I, in hindsight, I shouldn't have done that. I should have put the Earth Power um, and taken this thing out. Um, I don't really have a switch in for Latios anymore, though. I mean, you don't really if you don't have a fairy, so uh, that's a problem. But this thing does die to the poison, so again, it's another kill for Mega Latios from the grave. Um, but that's all about what pretty much happens. You can probably tell what happens from here. He still has Sand Up, and he has Extra Drill, and I have a Zorok and a Heliolisk. 
This is Zoroark. I go for Sucker Punch. It doesn't even do half. I think this might be slightly bulky invested. He doesn't obviously need a lot of speed invested in the sand. Uh, I am not Sash. If I was Sash, then I could have taken this thing out. Um, if, as long as I hit a Focus Blast. And then the game could have been slightly different. I say slightly. Uh, less of a 4 0 as it is, because all I have left is Scarf Tedious, and it can't outspeed this uh, because of Sand Rush. And we lose 4 0. This is week six, and it's only our second loss of the season. Honestly, to me, I was obviously disappointed. I came into this game expecting to lose, because Trav's team is just spooky as hell. Um, you saw the six months he bought this game. <laughs> I didn't have much of an answer. The free Pokemon I didn't bring were Gastrodon. Um, what else have I got? Hitmonlee. Hitmonlee honestly wouldn't have done much. And um, what else didn't I bring? What else didn't I bring? There's something... But I've done out of time, that's the one. In hindsight, Gastrodon would have been really nice on this team to take on uh, Excadrill, to take on Tyranitar, to take on Embor, kind of, potentially, and even uh, Thunderous. But we all have off days in team building, we all have off days in battling. Um, that combined with the attitude I had going into this battle, I wasn't ever really going to come out of it with anything. So we're now 4 and 2. Um, Spoilers, Sam is 6-0. Spoilers, Shardy is 4-2, so at least we've got that to hold on to. And Trav is now on 5-1. and one. So, the top of the table is starting to open up a bit. There's less competitors for Sam, I want to say. Um, I feel like with this season's form of Sam, two losses might be too many. I've still got Sam to play, and so is Trav, so there's still time for things to change. But Trav, honestly, good game. You put me on the back foot the whole way through. I couldn't recover. I tried. Um, but hey... It's only given me more motivation to go out next week. Well, we've already played, and the results are probably already public knowledge, but hopefully as soon as possible after seeing this battle, you might see the, the game which I look forward to the most in the season, me versus Shroom. Um, I really enjoyed that battle too. Hopefully you guys did as well. Make sure you check out all the links and stuff, and I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I'm rambling. I'll see you all later.